Hello there, aspiring tenos. I'm your host, Tim Texagon, and you're listening to the Warframe broadcast, bringing you the latest news of the Origin system. Speaking of... You guys wanted to see more Damus bounties. Keep in mind, you, our dearest viewer, directly influence what we cover and when by interacting with the community polls. And if you want to have an even greater say, you can suggest any topic over on the Discord. Before we show you how to go fast, to get rich slow, like I'm talking 8 to 9 months kind of slow, we first want to be sure that you've paid your television license of either one sub or one like. Help us get to 1000 subscribers, we do a giveaway every 100 subscribers on the way there. Alright, we here on the Simtexagon Network have already done two stories on the Deimos bounties and their insane profitability. You guys let us know that you wanted more and we are happy to oblige. For tonight's broadcast, we bring you two stories separated in the timelines below. Firstly, on Brute Force level 40 to 60. Secondly, on the Endless Bounties. We will start with the stages and the tips that apply to both on this How To Demos Bounty Edition. A quick disclaimer, bounty stages may appear in any order. Firstly, you must learn to perform a Nightwave skip. Open your radio and listen in for just a second to silence the dialogue of other characters to expedite the downtime between stages. Your cue to skip is when you hear the stage completion music swell up. Our first shared bounty is Find and Destroy Tumors. Here, you will use the Kuva Brahma due to its large AoE. Lloyd will inform you that you cannot inflict damage to the main growth from the outside. This is a blatant lie, and you know how we feel about fake news. As you will see on screen, our field reporter does not bother to follow the trails of the growth. You see, the tumors spawns are not entirely random. They have about 7 to 8 spots they can appear in, and with a bit of practice, you will start to memorize them. Then we have Extract Samples. Now again you must ignore Lloyd. Do not defend the Purifier. Instead grab the Power Cell, rush the Purifier and get at least 8 samples, repeat and done. This can be done in 40 seconds. Now moving on to the Brute Force specifics. First up, how do you get started with Brute Force? Well, you go ahead and you grab the bounty from Mother that is level 40 to 60 and then immediately fail it. After that, you want to go to one of these locations on the map and found Mother. One of them should have Brute Force. This mission can be repeated from here until the next rotation, which happens every two and a half hours. But back to the bounties, still speaking specifically of brute force here. Lure the assassination target. Here you want to start blasting the second you land. The faster you kill the enemies, the sooner more will spawn. Once you have at least 15 bait, you will need to kill 15 more enemies within the now much smaller ring. So, if you bring a support, have them subsume lava onto them to grab the enemies into the circle, blast the assassination target and on to the next bounty. Then we have reach the hive, attack the hives, then kill the enemies. There is not much you can do to speed up this stage unfortunately, which tends to be the longest. Though, we will say that enemies tend to spawn in three waves, so get ready to pop that hive. Also, sometimes the hive will expose itself after just one wave, though that is kind of rare. Finally, for Brute Force, we have Find the Grenier Squad. Go directly to the Grenier Commander and perform a Nightwave skip. Make sure you're close enough to make the objective marker disappear before you skip. Then only leave Peacemaker to refresh your angle of attack. Then we have our only endless specific bounty, and it is Help Latrox Un. It also so happens to be the most important bounty for the Endless. Anyways, you must first kill the Eximus that is attempting to kill Latrox Un, and then help him collect samples. If you struggle to kill the Eximus unit, then hit it with that Operator Slow before moving in for the kill. Also, if you end up facing a heavily armored unit, then make sure to hit it with that Pillage twice. Now, on to Sergeant Texagon. Understanding each step of the Endless Bounty is only half the battle. We also need to understand the Endless Aspect. Should you go down doing Brute Force, it's not a big deal. You can always refresh your revives. You're not so lucky here. Breakpoints is where your run could potentially cut short before you're ready to end it. There's three main ways your run can cut short. The bounty just stops giving rewards. Not much you can do here. DE Spaghetti fells even the bravest of men. You run out of revives or Latragun goes down. The first of the buffs comes down to your own skill. Make sure to cast pillets often, make sure to bullet jump to stay mobile while you sling your peacemakers and make extra sure to clear the area or void this away before getting into your arc wing as dying in your arc wing will mean that your companion will not have the opportunity to revive you. Status procs can down you in a single proc, so stay on your toes and get ready to perch with pillets. 
Also, be aware that if you die from an attack that only deals damage while in Arcwing, then you will be knocked to the ground with the opportunity to fight to recover a revive. But if you take damage from an attack that also automatically removes you from Arcwing, then you will die in Arcwing mode, which means that you will not be able to save yourself. And if you die with 2 out of 6 revives left, then the mission will just end and you will lose all of your rewards. Because of this insane game design, you will have to get out when you have 2 revives left or risk losing everything to a glitch. Now for Latrox Un. This pathetic corpus researcher requires your utmost attention. The enemy stops scaling after level 125, but not the Eximus units facing Latrox Un, so you have to be on top of that. Focus extra closely when dealing with him and make sure not to stumble. Fight on the outskirts and do not put yourself in the line of fire. If you maggots cannot handle yourself, you can always bring a trinity to cradle you and heal Latrox Un. That's all. Alright, I have been told by our producer to tell you that we, of course, do not think that you are a maggot for using a support. And as long as you only bring one, this will actually save both of you a little bit of time. Regardless, we have some expertly strung together builds to show you. Firstly, we have a balanced build suitable for brute force. If you have a spare fleeting expertise, you may only want to upgrade it to rank 4, as this will not decrease your efficiency as it caps at 175, but it will give you 10% ability duration. Umbra Intensify can easily be dropped for the normal Intensify without losing much, but Prime Flow and Prime Continuity is a must have. For Arcanes, you will need Arcane Energize, or you will have to bring some energy discs. Luckily, you'll be earning back Nano Spores while farming demos. For your second arcane slot you can also use mold augmented for our second build you will need both arcane as the content is quite a bit more difficult due to the endless nature and due to the much higher levels you will also need a full set of umbra mods just to survive some of the ranged attacks for the regulators, you must run Corrosive, as it deals 75% more damage to the three strongest units on Deimos while stripping some of their armor. For a budget version, the Primed and Galvanized mods can be dropped for their normal counterparts, but obviously don't do this on the Endless Bounties. A great companion to bring is the Vasca Cavat with Transfusion to give you that second chance. It is much easier to not go down twice in 2 minutes than to not go down at all for 3.5 hours. You will need the energy from Teneric, but if you're willing to spend some energy discs, Yunaro can save you down the line. But that's everything from us here in the studio. Tune in next time when we show you how to skip the leveling process.